Hi, I'm Tova with Professor Pincushion. Looking for a simple project for the babies in your life? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a bunny baby beanie. This baby hat can be made from a soft fleece to keep the chilly weather at bay. Give it some whimsy with an adorable face and bunny ears. Any baby will look cute in this little hat. Let's go ahead and get started. Here are some of the supplies I'm going to be using for this project. I have some fleece, which is going to be used for the main part of the hat and the ears. You don't need that much. I would say about a third of a yard. Next, I have some scraps of felt. I'm just using black and magenta. This is for the features of the face. Pattern pieces, which can be downloaded off our site, professorpincushion.com. Embroidery floss. Don't need that much. It's just for sewing on the features. Then you're going to need a sewing gauge, fabric marker, sewing machine, I have all-purpose thread, pins and needles, and some scissors. This is what I cut out with my pattern pieces. So out of the main one, I'm going to cut two and both of them are placed on fold. So you end up getting two pieces that are twice this size. I also cut out four out of the ear piece. Out of my felt, I'm gonna cut one out of the mouth, two eyes, and then at this other color, I'm gonna do one for a tongue and one for a nose. Any markings you have on your pattern pieces, you're gonna to wanna to transfer to your fabric pieces as well. So we have a dart, and then we have two dots over here and two dots over here. This is for ear placement. You're going to take one of your piece and we're going to assemble the face on it. So you wanna look at the right side. If you have an obvious right side, I'm just gonna say this is my right side. Now you'll notice I have this dot here. All that is, is I just marked where the bottom of the dart is because I don't wanna accidentally put my face so it was going into the dart. So I know where the bottom is and I could place my pieces accordingly. So I just kind of center them and I'm just eyeballing where I want my features to be. You just wanna make sure that you're doing it more towards the top of the hat as opposed to the bottom of the hat where we're going it's gonna be folded up. So here's one where my face has already been placed and you can see what that one looks like there. So once you get all your features in place, just go ahead and put in some straight pins to hold everything. As an option, you can use fabric glue in order to glue on the features. I just prefer to hand sew it so it's a little bit more secure. I'm gonna be using some embroidery floss, just a single strand to do this part. And definitely use a matching color. I'm just using a contrasting one so it's easier to see. So it's already on my needle with a knot and everything. And I'm looking at the right side and I'm going to come up from underneath, just a little bit on the black right there. So I'm not that far in, and I'm gonna pull it all the way through. I'm going to go close to the edge, the outside edge of the eye, and I'm grabbing a little bit of blue and coming up nearer where I was before. So it doesn't have to be the same hole, but it's pretty close. Before I pull this all the way through, you're gonna see a loop. I'm gonna go through the loop with my needle before I pull it through, and I'm going front to back. You can go back to front or front to back, it doesn't matter, just be consistent whatever way you choose. And now I'm gonna pull it all the way, and I'm gonna go a little ways away from that, grabbing a little bit of blue and a little bit of black. Again, you're going to have your loop and you're gonna go through your loop. So again, I'm going front to back through that loop, and then I'm gonna pull it. Then I'm gonna go a little ways away from that, and just repeat the process and you're gonna do this all the way around for all of your features. Next, we're gonna take care of the darts. You have your dart lines here on both hat pieces. You're gonna look at the wrong side. So if I did my face features on this side, I'm gonna do it on the opposite side. And all you're gonna do is just take this triangle, you're gonna fold it in half, and then you're going to stick in a pin to hold it. You can see I've already done it to this one because we're going to take it to our machine and you're going to start here at the edge of the triangle and sew towards the center. Just do this in a regular straight stitch, so regular length. And don't tie a knot when you get to the end of the triangle. Just run it, your needle right off and we'll do a hand knot instead. To tie a hand knot, grab your tail ends of your threads here, both of them. You're going to make them into a loop you're gonna bring your tail end of the thread through the loop, and then you're just going to pull it. 
so you get a knot here at the end. And then you could just trim it off. So here's one that I already did. So after this is trimmed, I'm going to cut most of this off, leaving about a quarter of an inch. So let me just grab my scissors here. Trim this off because we don't need that. And then just take your scissors and just cut into this folded part to your stitches. You don't have to get exactly to the stitches. We just kind of want to split this open so it stays open. You should have four ear pieces total. Pair them off and place them together. If you have an obvious right side, you're going to do right side to right side. And you're going to pin because we're going to sew along the curved area. So we're not sewing here on the straight edge, just on the curved side. I'm sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and end of your seam. And I switched to a walking foot. I just tend to find that it's a little bit easier when sewing with fleece. It's definitely not needed, but I do find it a little bit easier. Turn both ears right side out. So the easy way to do this is take it from the bottom, so where the widest curve is, and you're going to pull the sides apart. I'm going to stick my thumb right in the middle of that, and then I'm going to use my fingers to kind of pull it over my thumb. And then you can just pull the rest of it out like this. And you have two ears like this to attach to our hat. Take the side of the hat, the one that doesn't have the face, and you're going to place it right side up. So if I was to flip this on the other side, you can see the seam allowance from the dart. So that's the other side. And we're going to place the ears on our marks. So they're just going to go in between. You're going to pin them, and then we're going to base them into place. Just doing a quarter inch seam allowance. Just do the longest stitch on your machine and you don't have to worry about doing any back stitching. Place the two sides together, right side to right side, and do a quarter inch seam allowance around the curved side here. So this is going to stay open because we need it to be able to open up like a hat. So just the curved edge quarter inch seam allowance using a regular straight stitch. With the hat still wrong side out, you're going to take this bottom edge now and you're going to fold it up and use your sewing gauge to measure two and three quarters. So I need to do a little bit more than that. Once you have it two and three quarters, you can go ahead and put pins and we're going to stitch right along that top edge there. So I still need to do a little bit more. Once it's all folded up, just check the right side because you want to make sure that where you're stitching is not going to run into the bottom of your mouth. So you can do it a little bit less if you need to. That's why you want to do your face a little bit higher in the hat. And then that's the last step is just to stitch right along that top edge. I'm so about a quarter of an inch away from the raw edge using a regular straight stitch. And you also have to make sure that you keep the ears that are on the inside of the hat still out of the way. You don't accidentally want to sew those onto your hat. And I took off my extra free arm here. So it's a little bit easier to slip the hat on so I can just go all the way around. With all our stitches done, let's go ahead and flip this right side out. Look at that, he's so happy. Okay, so now you just take this bottom folded edge and you fold it up to where your stitches are right here. And now you have a new little baby hat. So if you make one of these, definitely post a picture to our Facebook page because we'd love to see how it turned out. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.